Hi everyone, back with another video, and I made another book. And this one's somewhat, well yeah it is like Dee Dee's. It's the same size that she did on her Ustream. Um, it's 8.5 by 8.5. The spine is 8.5 um, by, is 3 inches wide. It's not completely, um, the page, the signatures aren't completely in here yet. So I need to get more rubber bands that don't break when I put them in. <laughs> um, after after I cut out the um, game board for the covers, I took the extra um, pieces, the ones that were, um, I took one that was left, o left over from the cutout and then another piece that was um, extra and glued them together on a piece of card cardboard and then instead of covering the covers with paper and then um, attaching the spine to the covers with the duct tape I did um, I did the I attached the spine to the covers first and then put the um, paper on the covers because I didn't want the duct tape to um, cover the papers and this is um, Prima this is the paintable um, paper and then the back is basic gray. I think this is Fort Lauderdale um, paper. And then the inside back cover is a old, old, old Papers Adventures um, paper. And then this one is, you can see it, is a, um, I forget who makes it, but it's peanuts. And I know it's red and the white's stinky, but hopefully you can see it. So what I did was, again, like with the first one, I took the, um, the cutoffs from tr when I was trimming the paper. I just took, um, trimmed that down to size to, that's wide enough to cover both sides and um, wet the paper with the mist, with my mister, and then to what the fiber loosen the fibers and then just molded it to the um you know mold it to the covers and then I glued it down. So I did use the peanuts paper on that for that and then used the other side of the basic gray for Lauderdale paper on this side. And then for the pages I um, trimmed I used a multiple of different papers. I used GCD Studio. I used different colors of cardstock and um, greens and whites and pinks and blues and purples and craft. I know I originally said that I wanted to do all craft, but when I was going through the papers, um, I decided to do all kinds of different multiple, like a sort of type of junk type thing. And then I used um, most of the papers I used are from the saver from what I got at Savers. And then I used Prima. This is a piece of Prima. I used, this is one of the papers I got at Savers. I used GCD Studios. I used um, some book paper. And um, this is more Prima. I finished this um, pad of um, GCD Studios. I had like four sheets left so I decided to use it all. Oops, I didn't get attached. Um, what else did I use? Well, I used a couple of, um, this is a book paper. I used a couple um, sheets of Teresa Collins Celebrate Collection. I used, um, this is Teresa Collins. And then I used um, American Craft Jerry Lizzie. I used some pages of those. I said I used card stocks. And, um, okay. And I started out with 11 signatures for this, and I didn't want to add numbers, so I did another signature. And there's like four. Four different, or four groupings, or, yeah, group. Anyway, I'll get to that in a minute. 
Once I cut them down to eight and a half by eleven, about the twelve by twelve that is, on the twelve by twelve paper. After I got all the paper cut out and all that, I scored, um, because I cut it down to eight and a half by eleven, and then I took the, on the eleven, eleven inch side, I took it and scored it at the eight and a half and folded it, and that's how it's um, connected. The two sheets are connected like that, and then I just, um, you know, rubber band them to the spine. So I have, um, about four, I think four pages, four groupings in each signature, and there's like a, now there's like 12 signatures, and all the, uh, are bounded with the rubber bands. These are the rest of my signatures. And then I had a, a lot of scraps left from when cutting the paper down to size. So I have another um, stack to be made into a little book. And this one is, I think, you know, this one's about three and a half by. Or seven. Mm. Take one. Uh, I'm running out of room. I'm guessing six. Five, three and a half by six for that one. And then I have another one. And this one is, you know, this is three and a half, too, but it's also four inches. So it's three and a half by four. And that one is one, two, three. About seven signatures to this one. In a group, I think it's a group of two, two or three. Yeah, three. Sorry about that. And this one, I think it's probably two, three. signatures for that one. So those are my books, or soon to be books. I hope I don't get burnt out after doing this. But these are in no rush to, finish, to put these two together. And this one I'm definitely going to be using my stickers and doing collages on here. And um, so thanks for watching.